You had a lot to do with uh, the first exploding scoreboard. Where did you get the idea for that? That was from a play by the fellow by the name of Soroyan. And uh, show a time of your life, if you remember, there was a sitting in the back of the saloon. Every once in a while, a guy would come up and get another roll of nickels, and he'd go back and play a pinball game. And nothing happened, and nothing happened. But you knew, what is there? there's some point to this. And just before the final curtain, he hits the jackpot, and everything happened. The whole board exploded. The flags came up. It played Dixie. And I thought, what a wonderful idea. Because that emphasizes the importance of home. Home runs really basically are, strangely enough, except for the result, are dull because it happens so fast. It isn't like a triple with a basis pool with everybody running and keep running. It's just boom and it's gone. So I thought, ah, we'll try and make this more dramatic. But it was the forerunner of what's happened. But as in many cases, the forerunner is fine, I think. But when you get this so highly developed uh, that they come from Japan, Germany, wherever, to try and peddle them, each one peddles more and each time you pedal more, it becomes less important, and it diminishes rather than increases. The only thing is I didn't dream that I would create, a, once again, a monster like Dr. Frankenstein that would try and usurp the ball game. Because you see, with all the instant replays and all these things, people forget to watch the game because they know we can see that. Where do you activate the fireworks when somebody hits a home run? Well, the switch is just up on the wall over my right shoulder. When we're sure the home run is hit, we'll flip the switch and automatically it'll, it'll fire the fireworks. 